Hey everyone, BrickLover18 here today with a BrickLink store vlog. I am here in my BrickLink room, in my Lego room of course. I haven't really shown this on video too much since I moved. Uh, I haven't done a lot with BrickLink since I moved, so that's why today I thought I would make this vlog and kind of show you what I've been up to. So it is middle of October right now, and I'm currently, as of this very minute, packing a BrickLink order. This one's, for my store, is a pretty large order. I don't want to scroll, but it's about 900 parts, 45 lots, which is a really good uh, part to lot ratio. So super thankful for this buyer. Um, and right now I'm just currently packing the order. In this vlog, I want to kind of give you a little tour of, you know, my new BrickLink store. Here's the room from the other angle. It's a little bit messy right now. This is the room where I do all of my order packing and stuff like that for the most part. But also in this video, I want to do things like part out some sets because as you can see here, I have quite a lot of sets that need to be parted out that I've been accumulating since, you know, probably June at this point when I moved here. And I haven't done a part out in a really long time. And all of this is in the store, this stuff too. So in addition to this order, I've got a few more orders to pack. I'm going to get back to packing this one and I'll show you some of the other ones that I'll be working on too. But really excited to be here today with another BrickLink vlog. So stay tuned to see what I'm up to. When it comes to BrickLink orders, there's honestly no better feeling than when a customer orders an entire lot. And all I have to do is dump it and go from one bank into another. It's honestly the best. I love it. All right, so the first order here is packed. As you can see, so many parts. This one's actually in order for pickup. That's why it's in a Walmart bag, or whatever bag that was, instead of a box. Normally a bubble mailer, but a box is that one. And I'm not going to show you the names, but as you can see, there's a few more orders there left to pack. All right, now I'm just here packing another BrickLink order. As you can see, this one's not too many pieces. It's about 70 pieces total, only seven lots, and we should be good. Now I've got the order packed here. As you can see, I've got to make the bag for the parts. This is my heat sealer. I wait until it gets the red light, and then it seals it up. And as you can see, these are all the parts that are going to go in this bag, and this is a sticker sheet. Now everything's good to go. I've got all the parts individually bagged here, which is perfect, as well as the sticker sheet. And I'm gonna put everything in the bulb mailer, seal it up, and then put one of the stamps on it. While I was just packing that last order, a second order actually got paid for, so I'll be packing that one right now as well. This one only has one part and a few minifigures, so it's gonna be a very easy one to do. So I forgot to actually take a video of this order, but it took me less than three minutes to pack. These are always my favorite orders. Now it's sealed, ready to go. I've got the address label here, and then put it with the stamp and get it downstairs to the mailbox. All right, so now that I'm done packing the orders for this video, what I wanna do is actually go over and start working on this shelf. So like I was saying, I really need to part these sets out they've been there for way too long but I also want to go through this and just kind of audit it because at this point I'm a little confused of what's actually for sale what's not for sale and I just want to do a little bit better of a job sorting it because like I know this should be listed on my store but I honestly have no clue if it is and then I don't believe any of these sets are listed so I just want to clarify things and make it a little bit easier to find and overall just try and kind of tidy up the shelf a little and probably do some labeling and you know if I'm not selling stuff I'll have sets that are just completely not for sale and they're not even listed on the store and being on a separate shelf then obviously things that are for sale i've also got a bunch of minifigures that i need to sort through as well so like i said now i'm going through this shelf here and just trying to you know catalog everything and figure out what's actually in my store for sale and what's not and one of the things i'm working on right now is getting this bag of minifigures sorted for a friend as you can see i've been listing a few of them here on my store i've got a few different minifigures here unfortunately they're used so some of them are missing parts like the tinkerbell is missing the dress the Disney, the mini Mickey Mouse is missing his hat. Um, but those the prices, you know, are reflecting that on the Brickling store. So you can definitely check some of these figures out. I don't know where they're all from. So I've just been going through and trying to add them the best I can. Sweet. So after like probably an hour or so of putting all these mini figures together, as you can see, they are all labeled and individually bagged and all uploaded on my Brickling store. So they're all available now. If you want to go check it out, buy any of them there. They're all the six months average. And now I'm gonna put them into the minifigure bin. I recently changed how I actually sort the minifigures. Um, before I used to just put like like ones in a bag like this, and then I realized that's hard. You know, I don't like great for like when it's just some minifigures. Like obviously this is a pretty rare one, but I found labeling them just helped me know exactly which figure. So if I put like four Iron Mans in the bin, I'm not an Iron Man fan. It'll be harder for me to tell the difference. But when they're labeled like this, it's easy. Mainly did it for Unikitties too, so I always make sure, because I have a lot of Unikitties, I wanted to try and get the right ones. 
So yeah, these are all the minifigures that I now have in my Brickling store. So definitely go check them out. All right, so I just got this shelf tidied up a little bit more as well. As you can see, I separated the poly bags and the sets, and then there are more poly bags down here. I moved a few of the parts down and all the sets that I'm not selling, but like I just have duplicates of are there. And then of course, all the sets that I wanna part out are still up here. Much happier, obviously, with how this is looks. It makes it a lot easier. I've got some white space here that I could definitely add posters or something. This corner is an absolute mess. But the rest of all the parts and the rest of the Brooklyn store closet, even though it's a mess, it's a chaotic mess. Doesn't look as pretty, of course, as the Lego room out here, but it's doing its job. Now, let's part out some sets. All right, so I think I'm gonna part out a few of the Star Wars sets first, just because, you know, they're right on top. So I'm gonna grab these ones. I've got five copies here of set number 75269. So I'm gonna make sure that they're, you know, I bought these a while ago, so I'm gonna make sure that they're still worth parting out and not worth selling whole, just in case they're retired or anything like that and they skyrocketed in value. And if that's not the case, they're gonna be parted out. I'm gonna take them to the other room now to do it. All right, so I just confirmed on Bricklink, this set is still worth it twice the price if I part it out versus if I sell it sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and part it out now. So because I'm a small store, I sort my Lego parts for part out a lot different than others. I just divide them up by color, and then I actually go through and consolidate any ones that I already have in my inventory. So I'll start with black, I'll go through, pick out all the black parts, and then I'll just put the black parts back into this cup until I'm ready to actually add them into new lots. And I'll kind of show you that process now. I've also got all the minifigures here labeled and ready to go. All right, so I know a lot of Bricklink store owners who are bigger than me are gonna be like, what the heck are you doing? But this is how I do it. So I sort them all by color. I dump them out, make sure the cup is empty. And then I go through the list. As you can see, this one of the black one by two, there's 10 in this set. They're over here, and I have now 16 in my collection, and I know it's in lot number 1541. So I go up here, I grab 1541 the box. This one, because I know I won't be able to fit 15 of the bricks in one of these bags, because this is five and you know 15 is gonna be way too much. I know not to bother, so I know just to dump those pieces out back into the black you know, back thing here, and I'm gonna set the bag right here. This pile, so I've already done these, and this pile is all the pieces that just didn't fit in the bags anymore. So what I'm gonna do is after I upload all these parts, I'll go through, search those lot numbers, delete the remarks, and then I'll show you the next process. So that was a really bad example for the first one. So I'll put that back up there and I'll go to the second one. So this is gonna be large 359. So I go down here, 359. Great, find it here, 359. 359. Perfect. So, whoops. Stuck together. Not sure why there's some residue there, but it's okay because it's just on the outside. So now I'll open it up. And I know that I need 15 bricks here. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, and 15. So I'll put them in there. Seal that back up, which I... I'm not going to be struggling to do with one hand. And it's good to go. And I'll just continue now to go down the list until I've gone through. Once I get to the end of the black, putting all the ones that I have with remarks currently, which is looks like about a dozen or so parts, I put all the colors back into here for the next step. All right, so now what I do once I put all the parts away and I've cleared all the existing remarks from my inventory, I dump the parts out here by color, go into my inventory, click missing remarks, Hit go. And then as you can see, here are all of the different parts that I don't currently have any remarks for. That means all of those parts are in these bins for the most part. Um, so then I'm just gonna go through and I, I find the parts by color. I go through and I add them to one of these bags here. You know, I've got large, small, everything in between. And I add the parts and then I'll sort them all at the end. All right, and once I get all of the parts sorted, you know, like I was showing you earlier, putting all the parts that I already have into their bins, I will then sort everything and put it right back into these bins. All the parts that didn't have pre-existing lots or I, I'm adding to my store brand new, they go into these bags here. So what I'll just do is I forgot to record this part, but I will just go into the remarks. I will, I'll just go into my inventory. 
I will sort by missing remarks and then I will just get a list of all the parts and I'll go through it by color by color and I'll just use all of the extra bags here. I'll fill them up and then throw them in here. And then once they're in here, I just have to sort them and I'll be good to go. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for checking out my BrickLink store vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little video of me giving you a full tour of my BrickLink store, you know, seeing kind of what's around, what I've been doing, packing some orders, and of course, adding some new sets to the store. As you'll see, there are still so many sets that I need to add to the store, which is perfect because I've got lots planned for the BrickLink store, and I really want to take it to the next level in 2022. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.